A serial killer is terrorizing the normally sleepy this streets of Salem. This crude drawing of a bell has been left at the scene of several murders Leading over the past few police refer to the murderer weeks. as the Bell Killer. We spoke with a public relations officer. Authorities are asking anyone with any leads to contact this the SPD's anonymous tip line. The police have yet to attach no any meaning or significance to has become synonymous with the hysteria no surrounding this murder. You're saying there are no leads? No leads at all? grow up on the streets, you start thinking you're invincible. Nothing can touch you. You never really lose. Go to arrest some freak, find out you aren't as invincible as you thought. What kind of name is Ronan? That kid stole my wallet! Time to make it official. Ah, it hurts! You steal my car, you pay the price! Ah. Under arrest for the assault and battery, Vincent Coulter. Guilty on two counts of grand theft auto. On the indictment of burglary. Grand larceny. And assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> Let me take it. <laughs> I can't have my sister marrying some bum, right? They do. Oh, yeah, I do. No. No, Julian. You stay with me, you hear me? Julia. No, stay with me. Stay with me. Your family wore felonies like badges of honor. Now you think this new badge covers all that up? You're a fucking criminal. You need to slow down, man. Right? This is crazy. I didn't know better. So you actually want to die. Turn around. You're under arrest. in my body, then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll wake up.
Come on, someone had to hear that glass shatter. I found you. Oh my god. Julia. I thought I'd never see you again. You look good. <laughs> I look better. God, I've missed you. I would give anything to be there with you. For us to be together again, but... But what? Again, not you. If you're not here, where are you? It's the other side of the bridge. Bridge? What, what bridge? Where you are is a prison. Or a bridge. It all depends on how you see it. Either way, where you are isn't safe. Do you hear me? We need to get you across the bridge. You need to move on. Move on? Is that where you are? Don't worry about me. Something about your life isn't finished yet. We don't have much time. Think. What about your life feels unresolved? I don't know. To figure that out. Now go. No. Julia, you left me once and it destroyed me. Please, please don't leave me again. We'll see each other again, love. Just save yourself. No, no, no Julia! Don't leave me, Julia! Damn it! Hello? There's a man in the street outside the Regal Apartments bleeding. He's been shot. Send an ambulance. He's not breathing. My friend says he's not breathing. I can't feel a pulse. There's broken glass everywhere and a lot of oh, blood. Man. This is bad. Yeah, I'll stay on the line until help arrives. Hey, man. Can you hear me? Lady, please! Damn it. Hey, you! Hey, can you hear me? Come back!
Hey, why did you run? It gets old, giving counsel to the new ones. Don't take it personal. Running through walls, making things appear. You, you look like you've been here a while. You must know how this place works then. <laughs> works? This place isn't hard to understand. Figure out your gifts, and maybe you won't get trapped here. What do you mean, gifts? Your strengths in life are stronger in death. They become powers here. Some power is unique, some common. Possession, influencing people, manipulating the more fragile of ghostly objects to appear or disappear. Strengths become abilities. Huh. The door just hit me, but I'm passing through other stuff. What is it with this place? I thought I'd be able to walk through everything. We can't enter the buildings the people of Salem have consecrated. Save through an opening. An open drawer, or a window. But once inside, walls and doors hold no power over us. You'll know the ghostly objects we can't pass through by their blue glow. It will all seem logical in due time. Who are you? Looks like you've been here a while. Me? I'm just someone like you. But hear me when I say this is no playground. You can rob yourself of your future, or others can do it for you. No, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. How could I rob my own future? You're here to resolve something. You don't resolve it. You don't leave. Don't worry, that's pretty common. Common? That's crazy. What do you mean others can steal my future? Demons. They were once like us, but lost themselves. They can never move on now, and exist only to consume those lingering here. Those like us. I getcha. So, I need to figure out who killed me and stop him. That's the way I can get out of here. Well, best of luck to you. Wait, 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 wait. There's more I need to know. Holy shit! Be careful out there. You never know what's waiting around the corner. Weird. Seeing your own body lying on the street. It's like looking in a mirror you don't want to see but can't turn away from. And that's when you realize you no longer know which one's real and which is the reflection.
Yeah, great idea, Baxter. Tamper with the evidence. Backup. Who needs backup? <laughs> you shouldn't have tried to be one of us. <laughs> Man, you were one dumb son of a bitch. <clears throat> Sir? Hey, 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 Baxter, hey! Hey, just get back to taking them statements. Yeah, I'm the stupid one. Look, this is not your scene, Lieutenant. Just pay your specs and move on, please. Yeah, maybe it's not my scene, but it is my case. Tomorrow it'll be my case, and the next day, until we catch him. You do well to remember that, Sergeant. Look, I'm just following Captain's orders here. You know the procedure when a family member is... Yeah, well... Take all the time you need, LT. I lost count of the times I wished you were dead. Do me a favor, con man. Tell Julie I miss her. She knows, Rex. She knows. I need to find my killer's trail before it goes cold. I need to get my eyes on Stuart's notepad. See what they've learned. So did you did you see the man in the hood? Yes. I saw him. He killed that man in the street. Our city. Look at all these people. He's got family. It'd be nice to know what they're talking about. I gotta see if they found any leads that I don't already know about. Clues here have gotta tell me something. Stay calm. People need the cops to be calm now. Glad I'm not a cop. Why are cops so tight-lipped? Don't they know publicity will help them? I could never do what she does. How are we supposed to stay calm when they can't even protect their own? Why does this always happen to me? All I wanted was to go home and get a nice dinner and... Hey. What a night, huh, Robinson? Yeah. Crazy. saying he saw the bell killer into their building. Ronan responds, disregards orders for backup. Next thing you know, the bell killer tried to see if he could make him sprout angel wings.
and then bam, 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 bam. You really, Seven to the chest, you really point have, blank. You really have no idea when to quit, do you, Baxter? <laughs> Ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than cop. Yeah, you live like a thief, you die like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. The whole thing is just weird. All of us cops just getting nowhere. This is probably all over the social media by now. I tell people and it's like they think I'm in some movie. This isn't possible. There it is, right in front of me. Okay, be patient with her. She's upset. She's not used to dealing with scenes like this. Up at, at the top apartment on the fourth floor, I think. have some clues. Except that's my way in, and it's closed. Fantastic. Well, here's my chance. I just need to follow Stuart into the building. Hey, excuse me. Do I need to wait for someone to open a door every time I want to go inside? Yeah. Any buildings that were consecrated can be a bit tricky getting into, but once you're inside, it's smooth sailing. Same goes for getting out. Open doors, windows, whatever. It's all fair game. How many buildings are like this? Around here? Pretty much all of them. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Thanks. Hey, uh, shit. 
You trying to give me another heart attack? No, I, I just... It was rhetorical, for God's sake. Come on, don't look so lost. Take a look around or something. You know, spy a little. It's not like anyone's gonna stop you. Lost is my body. I know I got killed right here. And I know it sounds crazy, but but I'd feel a lot better if if I knew where my body was. Are you a detective or something? You might be my only hope. Yeah, I'm a detective. Any idea who did it? That might lead us to your body. I know they were old people. And I know they lived in this apartment building. Other than that, everything is hazy. But I was doing a lot of drugs at the time. Sounds like you do need a detective. I'll see what I can find out from any older residents of the building. They can probably hear you talking through the ceiling. I hope they do. Every time we visit Jennifer at this place, it's the same weird characters. That other lady on the second floor, she changes boyfriends like she changes sweaters. And my goodness, the racket. I know that upsets you, dear. And you know what? A granddaughter needs a yard. Where does she play? The street? Dead, I'm pretty sure there are shots outside. God, I wish she'd move out of this neighborhood. Are you listening to me? I need you to listen to me. Yes. Gus needs some friends. Someone else who can listen to him hammer. has stopped. Now we can finally sleep. Staring out the window. What good's that gonna do? paper when Grace hit her. I still can't believe she died. It happened so fast. I've never seen Grace so crazy before. It must have been the lack of sleep. Thank 
God, it's all over. I can finally watch TV in peace. Grace couldn't take the girls partying anymore, so she killed her and roped her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwick Quarry. I should get back and let her know. Turns out, the reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwick Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh. Well, why'd they do it? Your parties were keeping them awake at night. They finally got too tired and snapped. I, I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. Come back. Did I do that? Hey, hey! Come back! Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. All right, well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. Maybe she's getting too much sugar. I mean, that keeps kids awake, right? How does a monster like you end up in a kid's closet? Her daddy pissed off the wrong people. I was the one sent to uh, expedite things. It was simple. I grabbed the girl, make a few threats, collect the money, then let her go. What went wrong? Her daddy tried to be a hero and got in my way. Looks like it worked. He got him killed is what it did. If you killed him, then what happened to you? The people I worked for weren't big on second chances. But it looks like I'll get one anyway. I just have to wait. Death comes for us all. Little girls are no exception. and hope your luck improves. It ain't about luck, Everine. You got that right, buddy. You might want to remember that when you're looking at your sorry track record. 
Well, there's always some element of chance. Maybe you'll teach us some tricks, eh? Then I couldn't keep taking your lunch money, big guy. All right. Pull up your panties, gentlemen, and throw in some chips, Nate. I want to let her win, but she's just going to win anyway. Come on, yeah. Are you out? Poor guys. I remember when I still thought poker was a game of chance. A few more good cards would help. Check out the TV. I'm good. Thanks. This is by far the worst. Hey, we got brews. We got TV. What more do you want? Uh, I don't know. Party, maybe? Well, we could drive to Boston. Drive to Boston? I mean... I guess that's an idea. What... Logistically speaking, how do we work that out? You want to take your car? Well, you make a good point. Parking and the driving and the gas and what? A lot of hassle, bro. Too much, almost. Not to mention gas prices these days. Yeah, it's out of control. I'm wasting the gas sitting here. It's a good point. Very good point. Yeah, it's only my birthday for a few more hours anyway. Can we get on to real life? doesn't mean that I should do all the work. Why can't adventures happen without going out somewhere?
geschafft. So which was it, electrocution or slit wrists? The razor. It was only supposed to be the razor. That's what the voices told me. The music was just something to focus on until I bled out. So the radio was just an accident? I started the cut. The warm water made my skin so soft. But I couldn't go through with it. The radio slipped off the edge when I was getting out. And I didn't want to die. It was the voices in my head that wanted me dead. Uh, I'm sorry, kid. Okay, folks, I need you to keep your distance from the scene here. What happened up here? I'm afraid that's still under investigation. Kai got thrown out of a window. We're still looking at the details. Thrown out of a window? By who? Yeah, who did it? Sorry, like I said, it's under investigation. Is the building safe? Yeah, is this building safe? Perp didn't stick around, if that's what you mean. No. They haven't caught the guy yet. But... They're pretty sure he's not around now. Officer Morgan. Why doesn't this guy answer Jill? She's got good questions. Police department will get to find us. Don't you worry. I should make sure I stay with these people when I go. How do you know he's not still here? Yeah, how do you know? Actually, they're not sounding so sure now. Can I come stay at your place for a few days? People. I understand your concern. God, why don't they just tell us? This isn't a party. This is a murder investigation. We wish Scott would loosen up. that little girl that lives here she turns up you come find me got it
I still remember seeing the ad for the Regal Apartments in the paper. It's easy for people to look at it and see a dingy, run-down shithole. But me? I saw a place with history and character. I saw a place full of artistic inspiration. Before I knew it, I was the official tenant of apartment 3A. Looking back on it, I wish I had never even unpacked. My new apartment turned out to have more character than I had anticipated. The carpets were occasionally soggy, the pipes were rusty, and I could hear the tenant below me banging against the walls and screaming at the top of his lungs. Sure, there were other problems with the place, but they just added to its charm. They were things I could live with. What I couldn't live with was showering in brown water, mysterious leaks molding the carpet, and obnoxious neighbors. I called the plumber, who arrived just as I was about to have a word with the people downstairs. When I showed him the wet spots on the carpet, he scratched his head and explained that nothing was leaking and that the reason for the wet spots was most likely due to me spilling something and not realizing it. Did this guy take me for an idiot? I never spilled a thing. He apologized and said that without a leak, there's nothing he could do, so he moved on to the shower. Thankfully, the water had no trouble turning brown. He thought it could be an issue with a rusty boiler and went to check it out. I took the opportunity to address the tenants below. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. In fact, I couldn't hear anything at all. I tried the door, expecting it to be locked, but it just swung open. I was shocked to find it completely empty. That's when wet footprints began to appear on the floor. They were headed right for me. Just then I could hear the plumber scream from the boiler room downstairs. By the time I ran down there, he was long gone, but he had discovered the source of the brown water. Packed into the old rusty boiler was a bloated, decomposing corpse. The police are still investigating the homicide and the landlord has promised to renovate the boiler room. However, despite his efforts, 3A is back on the market, and I doubt I'll ever feel clean again.
enigma to the police and a lurking shadow in my own life. If only I can keep Joy from harm, I would do anything, even push her away, if it meant pushing her to safety. Turn around. You're under arrest. That's what I walked in on. Was he after the girl? Where'd she go? Church is always your deal. Run me down on the street and you didn't even check for witnesses? Like you're untouchable. That girl is my only lead. I need to find her.
kill me, but I still hate heights. Face it, Baxter hated the guy. I think the hate was pretty mutual. Ronan was a little rough around the edges. But Baxter, he isn't exactly Mr. Cuddly. Yeah, but you don't think he'd... I mean, a fellow cop. Or anybody. In this job, I'm surprised less every day about what people are really capable of. This can't be real. It's like we're all in a daze out here. Maybe there's just nothing here. We're looking for a weapon. They said he didn't even bring one. snows.
right. <laughs> I don't even know how I got here. <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know if there's anything I can do, but it looks like you could use some help. I, I, I don't know how I got here, or, or even where here is. I can't remember what happened to me. Why am I like this? I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, kid. But if you're here, it means you're dead. I knew it. <laughs> Look, I'm in a similar situation. Now, I used to be a detective. Let me take a look around and see if I can find anything that will help you make sense of all this. I, I don't even know where you'd start. Is there anything you remember? It doesn't matter how small. Sometimes the tiniest detail is all it takes. Um, I remember lots of people. And this rowboat. I, everyone was scared. And I, I keep seeing the name Mana Hansen. That's a start. Let me see what I can do. Deeply missed. You are a hero to us all. Huh. Looks like a memorial of some kind. I'll bet people left more than just this around. Finding that stuff could help piece things together. Victim. She was a hero. She saved a lot of people before her rowboat sank. She needs to know how much she meant to them. Did you find anything? That name you remember, the Mono Hanset? Turns out it was a steamer ship that sank right outside of Salem Harbor. If it weren't for you, a lot of people would have died. You're a hero. If I saved everyone, then how did I die? No, no, you, you didn't save everyone, but you were trying to. Your rowboat capsized. I can't swim, so I must have drowned. I'm sorry. No, don't be. Thanks to you, instead of fear and sadness, I feel pride. If it weren't for you, I would never have known. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm glad I could help.
you're running away. You need a sanctuary. A place where nothing bad can touch you. But you can never escape the questions. They follow you everywhere. Hey, hey, hey! It's okay. Just don't go near them. I couldn't look anymore. I, I had to stop it. Those hands, they tore at my soul, at my mind. It's your eyes. They get in through your eyes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just calm down. You're not making any sense. Did she find this as creepy as I do? Oh, no, 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 no. She never knew. Where's the fun in that? So you stalked her? I was the only one who appreciated her. Not like all those strangers she met at the bars, those animals. That's why I had to get rid of them. I did it for us. Looks like one of them didn't go so quietly. No. They were all too drunk to put in much of a struggle. This happened while I was watching her. I didn't realize I had backed into a snowbank. I, I never smelled the exhaust. Suddenly I was here. To be honest, it's the best thing that ever happened to us. No more pesky walls or locks. Now I can watch her. Watch her every move. Forever. Wasn't there a clue about the church and the apartment? Father, do you have a 
have anywhere that I could stay just for a little oh, while? Oh, of course, dear. The church is always here now. I think we have an old attic you can stay in for as long as you like. She's been staying in the attic? I better go check it out. Dark trials to come. Deliver us from the shadow. If there's someone up there, please start protecting us. There's one promise I never regretted. She's praying what I'm thinking. He wouldn't come in here, would he? Would he? That evil bastard's gonna hide out anywhere near the church. A lot of prayers going up right now. Not just hers. It's so cold tonight. Must be up there. Shoot, Cat, get out of here. Is the dance okay? Oh, yes, sir. But this guy would love to see my boy play football. So we just have to make sure none of the little critters get trapped in there. Well, what happens then? You probably don't want to hear about it in the food preparation area. It can get smelly. Maybe that's why they use incense, huh? <laughs> 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 oh yeah, they're quite the fairy tale. They weren't high school sweethearts, you know. Everyone thinks they were, but they just seem like they've been in love forever. But they met right after college. Total chance thing, trip to Europe. I was hoping he'd meet a nice Irish girl in Dublin, but he met Shelley down in Florence. And she's from Boston. He travels thousands of miles across the freaking ocean to meet the love of his life, who lives right down the road. Kind of makes you believe in fate. Like they were just meant to meet and be happy together forever, right? That's great. Really great. You follow football? I, I don't just mean the Pats. I mean local Friday night kind. 
Oh, yeah, sure. Sometimes. Well, this guy shut up. Well, congratulations on the wedding. Uh, and the football. Excellent food under these conditions? Vicky, but seriously, now do you call this a centerpiece? I'm sorry, ma'am. The request form said it would be a Puritan-themed display. It wasn't a lot more specific. Look at that. Just look at it. You call that pure? There's plastic in that. You think there was plastic anything when they landed on Plymouth Rock? Well, I didn't think it needed to be that precise. No, you didn't think too hard about any of this, did you? Hmm. Authentic Puritan is organic, rustic, yet tasteful. It says Salem. This whole wedding says Salem. It's a statement of pride. Don't you have any pride for this town? Actually, I'm from Weymouth. My family, not my husband's Irish family, but my family, the Winslows. We go all the way back to the Pilgrims. We settled in Salem in the 1600s. We invented Thanksgiving. <sighs> Where are they get their hands? Wait till this one is over. I don't know, Angie. Brian is a lovely boy, but I worry about his family. Well, his mother does seem to be a bit of a heartbeat, but Brian's worth it. Yeah, I think so too, dear. It's just that Shelley didn't grow up around boisterous people, and I worry about the pressures of their relationship. Oh, Sheila, they'll be fine. You know they'll have a long, happy life together. Oh, I'm sure you're right. You've been her best friend since, what, fourth grade? I think in some ways you know her better than I do. She's had a great role model for motherhood, I must say. When she has kids, they're just gonna blossom with her. You're so sweet. I must admit I am looking forward to grandchildren. Has she... said anything to you? Well, she hasn't said anything specific. I know they both want kids. But they ought to have a couple of years just to enjoy each other. Of course. I don't, I don't mean to be selfish. I mean, what's the hurry? They're young. He's a great guy. But she's right about his mother. It's so simple to be a nice person. Why can't everyone do it? on the varsity when he was a freshman.
nothing is gonna happen. There she is, finally. Why do I always lose my keys when I need to leave? How can I get through? from the pastor. He was looking for someone to fix up the old church. It had been sitting up on that hill, abandoned for over 40 years after getting hit by lightning back in 98. It suffered a bunch of fire damage. So of course I, I agreed to help. I knew something was wrong the second I stepped inside. As an, an inexplicable chill came over me. Anyway, I I shook it off and I, I set to work. As I started tearing up the damaged floorboards, they were all bad. Well, I uncovered an old rat's nest. It seemed like any of the others I'd seen over my 22 years in the construction business, until I saw the scraps of human hair and bones that the rats had used to make it. Well, suddenly I, I heard the floorboards on the second floor creaking above me and the sounds of a young girl weeping. Well, you know, I was worried that the damaged section of the ceiling was going to give away under her weight, so you know, I, I yelled, hey, you know, stop, come down immediately. Well, my voice must have startled her because she went completely silent. So I got up and I, I went to look for her. When I entered the room upstairs, though, I was surprised to see it completely empty. It only took me, you know, a minute to make my way up there, and I would have heard her run off if she did. But that's when I heard the weeping again. Only this time it was coming from the bell tower. So I, I climbed up the long, treacherous, curving stairs at the top, and I, I noticed what I thought was dried blood dotting the way. And when I finally got up to the belfry, I was just paralyzed with terror because lying before me was the withered corpse of a young girl. Judging by her sun-bleached clothes and weathered bones, it seemed like she'd been lying there for the better part of those 40 years the place had been empty. The rats, I mean, they, they picked her bones clean. I, well, I took off running. I didn't stop until I got all the way to town. The ravages of time made it impossible for the authorities to get any identity on this girl. It seems Salem will never know who killed her. Some people still claim to hear her weeping there. As for myself, I never went back.
that if you ever possess me again, I'll, I'll, uh, you have no right to dump your unfinished business Hold on. on me. Now, I'm tracking down my killer, okay? Someone who was seconds away from attacking you about an hour ago, and if... Wait a minute. You, you can see me? And hear me? <sighs> Holy shit. You're a medium. <laughs> well, I ain't, ain't I the luckiest guy in the world? I just found the perfect little helper. What is it with you guys and my family? Helping the cops do their job is not some, some privilege. It's a trap. I'm not your informant, your partner, or your friend. I don't owe you. If anything, you owe me. Dick. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. You're tough, okay? But you're not tougher than him. You saw what he can do. He's coming after you, or someone close to you. Whoever he wants dead is lucky to still be alive. Now, I know what I'm doing, and you can help me stop him. All you have to do is answer some questions. Look, I'm sorry. What happened to you was horrible, and you, you saved my life, so what do you want? I was murdered tracking that son of a bitch to your place, so why would he be looking for you? That freak was probably looking for my mom, not me, I, I'm a nobody. Invisible. My mom and I tried very hard to keep it that way. Not everybody wants to be noticed, you know. Looking for your mom. What does that mean? She's like me, but she found a way to make a respectable living off of what we can do. Living that probably turned her into a target. Where's your mom, kid? Probably... dead. She would never just leave me without saying a word, never. I don't know where she is. I know the bell killer had something to do with her disappearance. Him showing up tonight just proves it. If he killed her, why would he come back to her place? I don't know. Look, assuming the worst never helped no one. Why don't you live there? Because of people like you always asking for help. Trying to connect one last time with your loved ones or, or resolve some crazy problem. I love my mom, but I can't live in one place for too long or people like you will find me too easily. I wasn't home much either growing up. I know that's rough. All right, all right. What were you doing at your apartment? I live there, Sherlock. Well, I used to, whatever. My mother has been missing for a few days. I, I don't see her that often, but she never just disappears. Not like this. Yeah, hey, you might know her. She was working the bell killer case with the cops as a contract psychic, a profiler. Sorry, kid. She didn't ring any bells. I found this in the apartment tonight. Mentioned something about some bell killer book, and it's in her handwriting. Bell killer book. If she was a profiler, it's probably the book she kept all her case notes in. That would be at the station. Really? Have you ever seen my killer before tonight? Do you have any idea who he is? 
You cops are so hard up on clues that you're actually asking people if they know who the killer is. Now I get why you need so much help. I'm not asking people. I'm asking the witness whose life I just saved. You're not safe alone. You need someone watching over you. Us cops find missing people. I found you and I can help you find your mom. Your problem is now my problem too. No way. Uh, don't get me wrong, you saved my life and... Okay, I can't pay that back, but your problems are your problems and mine are mine. <sighs> there they are. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Have a nice afterlife. Oh, wait a minute! Don't go yet! Just stop for a second, will you? We're on the same side. If your mother's involved, we need to work together. Work together? What are you gonna do? You're dead! I'll handle it. Just leave me alone! I bet she knows more. I can't let her get away. There's gotta be another way down. Even so soon, dear. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll be back. Don't wait up, Father. Be careful out there, my child. Where'd she go, huh?
move now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. Yeah. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. She'll blend in well there. Did you know her mother worked for the police? Fine. Don't tell me. Puss. Time to head back to the station. I'd accuse my boss of witchcraft in a heartbeat. Hard to believe a cop got killed tonight. How much does a tattoo hurt? Cop was like covered. Bored. Nothing happens here. Quiet. Such a sleepy town. I should go home now.
well-lit places should be okay. Pretty sure they burned them. Real witches didn't have those hats. Okay. What have I done? No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh... Brad. Good. Now, tell me what happened. I don't know. We're out on the town blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? The details are hazy. I, I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God. I killed them. I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. God, what have I done? Hmm. This must be Brad's car. It's not looking good. Huh. It's not much, but it's something. Gas station's not far from here. I should check it out. such a lightweight. Maybe if we walk a little faster. Okay. Great.
My paycheck. I was just so pissed at those drunken assholes. Who do they think has to clean up their puke? Jerks like that discourage business. I never should have let that woman drive off. I should have just called the cops. So, Brad wasn't driving after all. It was Laura. Well, I can't change what happened, but I'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. So weird. Somebody was alive, and now they're not. Would a new police chief do better? I saw... No. No, couldn't have been. In Spain, pretty sure they burned them. Does SOC gas ring any bells? Wait, uh, I remember stopping to, uh, fill up. You guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. And you even tried to call a cab. God, I, I don't remember any of that. When the cashier came storming out, you guys took off with Laura behind the wheel. So, I wasn't driving. Ha! Oh. <sighs> that whole night was a disaster. It's hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. I don't, uh, know what to say. Uh, thank you. Strange coming back here now, like this. A place I used as a crutch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone again. Funny how history repeats itself. Not tonight. Tonight was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. So remember, if you approach him, it gives him power. But, sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. Bell Killer War Room. Hasn't screwed up yet, but he will.
have faith in the department. I wish I could say that's the weirdest thing I saw tonight. No, sir. I'd be very interested to know that myself. We gotta find that info about the missing tenants. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints, fibers, or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. Yeah, understood.
can't tell you anything, son. I'm not in homicide. I've only been in the department for six months. I just... Do cops get killed? A lot? No, I wouldn't say it happens a lot. I've been on the force nearly 20 years. Is it even safe in the police station? Maybe more, because it doesn't happen often. Not that we want it to happen more often. Sometimes a desk job looks good. This is still running. Wow. We're mostly gonna survive it. Baxter, you still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, you let me know. Gotta do our work. Cops, gotta stick together. Chief's gotta take Rex off this. He's not gonna be able to think straight. Are you kidding? We couldn't drag him away from this case now. Wonder if that girl knows something. for 
It's too complicated to get into. Let's just say that I wasn't about to let some judge decide how to spend the rest of my life. That's my choice, so I made it. Either way, no, it doesn't matter now, does it? If it didn't, you wouldn't still be here. Maybe I can help? Nah, I appreciate it, but you know, it looks like you got your own shit to deal with. I'll figure it out on my own. Always have. Thanks, though. Get out of here. There's a ghost right over there in that cell. Don't you have some other oh, place you need me? It's bad enough. Do for not make purity. Crazy talk. What? You too? There's another one. T -t 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 Tell me you can't see this guy. He he's right there. Someone get this guy to the loony bin. See this? Wrong cell. Yours should have padded walls. How did you die? Autopsies aren't this thorough when the cause of death is cut and dry. I don't know. A bunch of pills. Some were sleeping pills. It was supposed to be peaceful. I didn't know that you... wake up. What am I supposed to do now? I wish I knew, kid. I'll let you know if I figure it out myself. Isn't a spiderweb tattoo usually a symbol for time spent in prison? Why would this tattoo have two spiders in the web? Did his own tattoo wrong? It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. Focus on your work. And this raven, it's like chained to... Are those prison bars? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. Yes, sir. Why is the old guy so harsh? A little respect would be nice. We respect the deceased in here, son. Don't forget that.
Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. It's a cake. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low or they'll see you. All right, you let's guys go. mess with this? That's not supposed to happen. Speed up, girl. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. I don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? Got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holes. Uh, uh, hey, kid. I hate these things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're gonna have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? Or? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts. Or, or think anything creepy. This doesn't make sense. Okay, man, get out. I got this. This is Now's your Hold chance. On. <sighs> that was close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay.
Sickness she carried in her brain? You made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. But finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. When we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. One officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. Also, the late night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. She spun around, he was gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Hell, I didn't either, until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me and docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since, or if the specter still roams the halls. I always tell them the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh, the desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? Like someone 
Hulk was hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure the book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. I just need to figure this out. You have one new message. murder changes, the inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random and related. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him, but he's my only chance. Can you check that voicemail message? Okay. Baxter, I told you, you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office, now. Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. Tell the girl. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. Oh, please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yep, yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Oh, t crap. Wait, what is that? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go! Time to move, Damn girl. machine.
need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? Cop you need to avoid. All right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. Hey, you know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Come on, come on, go over. A crew sweeping the building. Well, is she related to Udini? Those doors locked from the outside. <laughs> yeah, I'll check after we catch her. Hey, uh, you know, okay, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, Ronan, he was, uh, he was top notch. He, he wore his badge with honor. I hate it when people lie to me. I'm not lying. I just, you know, it's the only reason to trample on his grave. Before the badge, he thought it was intimidating, right? Because he thought it would make up for all the crap he did when he was younger. It would make it right or better. Or maybe prove to the guys around here that he wasn't the guy they thought he was. You know what? I heard the rumors, Sarge. I know a lot of the guys thought he lived his life on the wrong so, side of the prison. So, no, no, it's, not, not everyone. It's okay. Like Look, no. I understand. But at least he was honest, huh? He would look you in the eyes and he would tell you exactly what he thought. Right? I'm here to tell you, that sort of bravery is a rare thing these days. I mean, you have much to be proud of. At least he didn't try to hide who he was. You know, sorry, sir, but uh, it's been hard on everyone. What did I just say about lying to me? Pop, what is this place? Bell Killer War Room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so... See hey, ya. you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as... Oh, you won. Crap. can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. Your mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not gonna say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world and you need a detective. The last case. Ashlyn Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. What? I, I don't know. I, I guess my mom thought there was a case that was linked to the Bell Killer. The cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashlyn Hills. <laughs> we? I don't oh, come on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. Fine. For now. Now is all I worry about. Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. I'm... Joy. Seriously? And Ronan is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? So we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. Uh, I, I have to do something, so I'll, uh, I'll just meet uh, you there. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me, the deal is off. If it was meant to be, I'll see you there. If not, I won't. Oh, you better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living person I have left.
more of those historical plaques said nobody ever Exactly what I mean. Why is that so hard to understand? I don't even think it's the same guy. Copycats, all of them. I'll find more of those historical plaques. Said nobody ever. like in England. I can't believe this! Are you happy now, asshole? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> you said I was the one. More like one of many. I don't even know what he sees in her. Look at him. What a pig. He doesn't even feel guilty about what he did. Just look at him staring at her. Rough breakup? He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? Does it matter? It looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. Alright. I'll look into it. Everything seemed great. I guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is, if she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. Hmm. Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. someone to talk to. I didn't expect to fall in love with him. 
Weird how things work out. Huh. She was just trying to be a friend. She never anticipated this. Understanding. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. The good news is he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is your suicide brought them together. So. So he really loved me? Looks like it. I've made a big mistake. He still thinks about you. Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. What's done is done, I guess. Anyways, thanks for everything. Cop got killed tonight. What's that game? The one with the woman who raids tombs.
only guilty men watch their back. What are you afraid of? The thing all guilty men are afraid of. Damnation. I thought I could, uh, just eat a bullet and be done with it. I had no idea. But, uh, I couldn't take the pressure anymore. Pressure of what? Of someone finding out. People like you were always sniffing around here, looking for clues to other cases. With every badge that walked through that gate, I could feel the noose tightening. <laughs> Turns out, I should have given myself more credit. She's still rotting, right where I left her. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. There are people out there who deserve to know what you did. You didn't have to take it to your grave. We all take things to our grave. Even you. There are things, evil things, that roam here. You'd be wise to watch your back, too. I used to see this as Julia's final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just the place for others to come and remember what they used to know. Okay? I, I don't know. I was so drunk. And we both were. One minute her hands were all over me, the next I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, like your floating corpse. What? Forget it. It makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you and we're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with... People don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. The book says that there's a murder that happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. I'm not already. What am I going to do? To 
Just leave it to me. Excuse me, but, uh, did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. I think there was something behind me, but I'm not sure. What do you know about the girl who washed up here? This thing floated down the river by her body. Think it ended up in the bushes over there. <sighs> it's too dark in these bushes. Joy, I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Okay. I don't know if it's important, but this is all I can find. Wait a minute. There's something familiar about this. I need to get up river, find out how she died. I better tell Joy. body washed up on shore, so she was murdered upriver. But where? Miles of banks both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Oh, genius. It'll be a needle stack. Crawling ghosts. Wish we could just ask her, Sophia. Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. It's her. She's the one in the photo. <sighs> Damn it, stop doing that to me, will you? Wait, don't leave me here with... Did you see that? Yeah, she was talking about that. A small favor. Give her a chance. Hey, she can help all of us. Please? Hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. Shit.
Come on, man. It can't be that hard. Then you get over here and try it. Okay. I know it's steel or iron or something, but it's just like a fence, right? I mean, how much can it weigh? <clears throat> Should have brought a crowbar. Yeah. We always bring a crowbar when we're hitchhiking to Boston. In the middle of the night. Just get your ass over here! Hey, no problem. But remember, this whole thing was your idea. Damn! This thing's gotta be welded shut or something. Now, I'm sure they have doors ready for easy access after they put dead bodies inside. Next time we'll remember the crowbar. Next time? Wait. Where's the flask? I thought you had it. No, you... D did you put it down somewhere? It's around. Just keep looking. It's essential equipment for a road trip, you know. This is not going to end well. At least it'll make a good story later. What's with all this crap? Crap? This is my great-grandfather's stuff from the war. It may look like crap because it's old, but it's amazing. Blood cake bayonets, gruesome letters about the war. I even had a sip from his old flask. It made me realize how soft people have gotten. Compared to what? Compared to men like him. Don't you see? Finding all this stuff was a sign that I should be the one to remind people. To make them choke on their own blood. Please don't tell me you went through with it. I had it all planned out. But I died before I could. Just one more day and I could have changed the world. Listen, whatever you think this is about, it's not. Your great-grandfather fought to stop wars, not inspire them. And just let it go and move on. If you don't understand, you're just a part of the problem. Maybe I can help. Damn it. What's wrong with this thing? What do you mean? It seems to be doing its job just fine. Its job is to let people know who I was, and I was not like this. Not this filthy. I was important and rich and clean. I knew the importance of keeping up appearances, which is why this just won't do. It needs to look better than all the others. Not like the rest of these freaks. You'd be surprised. Here we are in the oldest part of the graveyard, which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? Oh, good question. Did everyone hear that? This young lady just asked if this happened before or after the famous trials. It actually happened a few decades before, so this graveyard is quite old. Okay, and we're going to walk a little farther now, so if you'll just follow me. Hey buddy, you got a problem? You could say that. I used to be a butcher before this bitch got a bug up her ass and started snooping around. People used to come from miles away to buy from me. I had more awards than the wall space to hang them. Then, her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row? Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. 
So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life? Then what? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs, you'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. I hear there's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. I felt a chill. Was it a ghost? So peaceful now. But some terrible things happen to these people. Such a small tour. Well, I guess it is late at night. Probably scandalous stuff they can't talk about. Whose hand is that? Ah, yes. That was just a sacrifice in the name of science. A flesh sacrifice? Sounds more like voodoo than science. Some may call it that, but they forget the true purpose of science. To understand the world around us and all the forces that govern it. Just because the research may be unsavory at times, doesn't mean we should turn a blind eye. Besides, now I've got plenty of specimens to work with. You experimented on these people? Most of them are as good as dead anyway. I save the ones I can. The rest... are being put to good use. Those were people, not guinea pigs. You're right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite busy. Yellow fever. I, I overheard the nurses talking about it. Something about the, the people working on the Panama Canal. <coughs> they must have brought it back with them. Please, I can't die here. They'll use me for his experiments. <coughs> was a hospital. They were trying to help you. Can't you see? <coughs> this was a quarantine. No help is coming. Only death.
Look, I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Oh. Why can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. Just hold on, will ya? No one should end up like this. I wish I could agree, but it's all my fault. I let people believe that I was something I'm not. They called me a war hero, but I was just a coward. For years, I'd retell gruesome war stories of how I crushed the enemy. But they were just lies I told in exchange for free drinks at the bar. I never saw any combat. Well, you pissed somebody off to get here. He was going to expose me for the fraud I was. So I tried to kill him. But he found out before you could do it. He has some buddies dragged me out here and left me to die. No one ever came looking for me. Too ashamed, I suppose. I don't be so hard on yourself. I've put away men a lot worse than you. This is Traps the Ghost Trapper, and we are in Salem, Massachusetts. Now because of the scary history of this town, it's a hotbed for ghosts. Are some of the tortured souls, the screaming phantasms from this town's past, still haunting this graveyard? Screaming phantasms? Travis, don't you think that's a little over the top? Okay, cut! Dwayne, how many times have I told you, don't correct me on camera? But you can't say that on the show, man. People will laugh. Oh, hell. People come to the show for over the top. Okay, sorry. Just start again. All right, roll it. Travis the Trapper here, and we're in Salem. Now, as you know, since there's such a violent history to this place, there's likely to be a great deal of paranormal activity here. What? What was that? Definitely a paranormal event. I heard it too. There's some being. Some spirit. Hello? Are you trying to communicate with us? Wait! It's over there now! Who actually watches this show? Oh, he's got the moonlight behind me. Mm -mm -mm. 
What happened? Field trip gone wrong? No, no, no! Why'd you let the door shut behind you? What are you talking about? <clears throat> the door only opens from the outside. Now you're locked in here too. If I miss my classes or get caught trespassing, I could lose my scholarship. They need to let me out. You mean that this isn't even yours? Of course not. It's starting to creep me out to tell the truth. This was just Kappa Delta Phi's idea of fun. I'm all for the tradition of hazing, but this has gone too far. Just try the door again, only this time really put your shoulder into it. Trust me, when you get out, your glasses will be the last thing you're thinking about. This is nowhere near over. So many deaths, but likely many more yet to come. I can't help but believe this graveyard will only get more full. Here? Yeah, probably should have brought our warmer jackets. So... You think the witches can win the division this year? How can witches? Oh, you mean our football team. Yeah, I think we stand a pretty good chance. You spend a lot of nights at practice. Must be nice to just have some nights to hang out. Yeah, it's nice. Sure is cold out here. Your jacket looks really warm. Yeah. And she just wants to talk. What's a girl gotta do to get a little affection? You know, I'm pretty sure there are ghosts of witches right around this spot. Don't worry, little boy. I'll protect you. That works for me. Boy 
things aren't that complicated. Tonight's gonna be good. What comes after death? Stop. I'm on your side. I'm trying to figure out who killed you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a cop. My God, you, you're not trying to escape me. You want me to see something? Contract? What, what, what did he mean by contract? No. no. This is the memory of your murder. You're too young. You shouldn't see this. Symbol. It must have meant something.
I've always been a kleptomaniac. It's not that I was lazy or anything, I was just bored. Stolen goods were always more interesting to me. I could just look at whatever it was and relive the exciting memory of the theft itself. Sometimes I was worried that I'd get caught. Other times I was riding an adrenaline rush. But it wasn't until the last thing I ever stole that I truly felt afraid. I remember it like it was yesterday, despite the years I've been trying to forget it. <laughs> My friends and I snuck into a graveyard to drink a few beers like we normally did on a boring weeknight. We headed for our usual spot, an old run-down mausoleum. Only this time it was locked. It seemed someone had finally taken an interest in the dead guy it belonged to and didn't appreciate us partying there. So we split up and went looking for a new place. Finally, I found another mausoleum. And one of its walls had begun to crumble away, but I squeezed through. The inside looked the same as all the others except for one thing. Lying there on top of the central tomb was a dusty frame that contained a wreath made of elaborately braided rope. Knowing that antiques were valuable, I took it. I figured I'd wait a week before selling it in case anyone reported it stolen. So when I got home, I hid it at the top of my closet and went to sleep. That night, I had horrible nightmares of a dead-faced hag with rotting flesh. No matter how many times I woke up, she always found her way back into my dreams. Over the next few days, the nightmares got worse. I'd wake up only to find clumps of my hair missing and my scalp bleeding. I chalked it up to stress and feelings of guilt about stealing from the graveyard. So the next day I went to a pawn shop to sell the wreath and be done with it. I could feel a shiver run down my spine when the pawnbroker informed me that the wreath wasn't made from a rope at all. It was actually made from the human hair of a deceased loved one, as was customary in the late 1800s. I wanted the nightmares to stop, so I sold it to him. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way. Now, I spend my time trying to track it down, hoping to return it so I can finally get some sleep. Ronan, I heard screams and it's good that you're okay. Well, I'm still dead. Oh, you found something. Yeah, I did. Bell Killer drowned the girl in the lake and let her body float down river. My mother was right. This is a Bell Killer case. Did you find anything about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is. He's sadistic. One weird thing is that he. He confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her. The contract? I don't think I've seen anything about a contract. Wait, wait, wait. Another case, possible Bell Killer survivor. Iris Campbell. Diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Again. And where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Of course it is. 
Okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um, go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. Oh. Guess I'll meet you at the hospital. Worst nightmare than this. I've seen them by the side of the road. These unkept, smudged, hopeless people holding cardboard signs. Sometimes they have props. Baby stroller, a pet, gasoline can. Something to lend credence to the thin fiction that they need money for something other than booze. It was, um, it was a man with a need gas sign with the red gas can on the ground that I saw when I drove into Salem six unlucky years ago today. I tried to ignore him, not making eye contact, but I was stuck at a red light and pretending he wasn't there was getting really awkward. So I reached into my pocket and pulled out two dollars, rolling down my window just to crack. Here you go, buddy. I pushed the money through the, the opening of the window. That was when for the first time I really looked at his face, or what was left of his face. It was a single eyeball just looking back at me, bulging out of a charred skull. I was absolutely frozen in terror until the blackened shape of uncovered finger bones reached out to take the money. And that's when I let it fall to the ground and slammed on the accelerator, 
I didn't even care that the light was red. In the time since then, I've picked up pieces of the legend. A shell-shocked war veteran, unemployable and alcoholic, became a familiar sight in Salem, begging by the roadside. Citizens stopped giving him money, thinking he would just move on to a bigger city. He responded by creating one of the most traumatic spectacles in town history, setting himself alight in the middle of town during evening rush hour. Ever since that roadside encounter, I've been seeing little wisps of flame out of the corner of my eye, like, like brief flashes that are gone as soon as I turn my head, sending nauseated chills through my whole body. Is this tormented spirit following me now? Whether he intends it as a blessing or a curse, I just want to be as far as possible from this horrifying specter. hospitals. One place torture is considered for your own good. If their experiments ever succeed in restoring a person's sanity, they better hope it was at the expense of the person's memory. Ready? Relax, we're out of the graveyard. And into crazy town? A big improvement. People who see things nobody else can see end up living here. You're not that crazy. Come on. <sighs> okay. I'll help you get inside, but... But what? Look, if we're gonna ask this girl Iris about this contract, the asking needs to be done by a living person, right? Just remember who opens the door for you, tough guy. Yeah, yeah. Kid, you're up. I just find a way to get Iris's room number. Um, hi. I need your help. I'm looking for a friend. Visiting hours are over. Right. But, but, she was with the cops. Then go talk to the cops. See, I, I did, and, and they said that she was a danger to herself, and... I can't help you. All right, just need to stall her, okay? We have to figure out what her weaknesses are. Maybe these things on her desk will help us. He's most likely a man of imposing size and stature. Someone who's accustomed to violence. Heinous acts in his past define him to the point where he no longer knows who he truly is. I know how hard it can be when someone depends on you. What's your friend's name? Iris, uh, Iris Campbell. Yes, it looks like your friend Iris is here. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks, I, I feel better. I'll take it, I got this. Just need to get my eyes on her computer screen. She's in room 
216. We gotta find it quick, Joy. She's scheduled for electroshock. Iris is due for shock therapy in 15 minutes. <laughs> oh shit is right, let's get moving. to spray them and not going to try to squash them again all the blind people put the restraints on me <laughs> can't believe they put them on me just because they can't see the bugs another camera get on it The thing to understand about Mrs. Gwynn is that her father used to become violently angry when she would walk in front of the TV during sporting events. I, um, I, I don't see what that has to do with... Any kind of anger, but particularly male anger, is really a trigger point for her. So I realize that dealing with patients can be a frustrating business, especially when they are on medication and they're less responsive. But you have to be careful. But she gets all, I don't know, crazy. Yeah, look around you. Why so mad? Is this guy gonna get it, even if I explain? These lights, God, these lights. I just borrowed the helicopter and left a little note. Why is it called antifreeze if it stops overheating? You're up again, kid. I need to possess you to get past this crap. Nope. Oh, I hate that. Or you can just go on. Totally alone in here. 
You know what these hands are? Lost souls, I guess? Just seems like the opposite of moving on. At least the opposite of moving on your journey. Thank you. No, 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 no! What do we do? All right, keep going. Get to Iris's room. No, no. We stick together. Joy, we don't have a choice. Now, I'll meet you there as soon as I figure out a way around this. Go!
which is the victim. Those parts? Those parts aren't me. Where am I? D do you work here? Show some mercy. I wish I could help. I'm sorry. Better find Joy and get her here. See what our comatose witness has to offer. After all, what the hell? She booted me out somehow. All right, let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl. things for like art therapy or something do no blue blue eyes cold as death who had blue eyes and, and death what does that mean blue eyes wolf eyes blue stare
Just run. Just run. Just run. Go. Leave her alone. Iris's life, but paid with her own. Bell killer's going after young girls. Well, what was it? What, what'd you see? A poor kid. Her sister freed her when they were about to be scorched, but she couldn't return the favor. Leave us alone! Are you okay? It's Rose. She has flames. She was possessed. I told you to stay back! <gasps> Who are you? I'm Joy. You don't belong in this place. Orderlies. Crap, I'm so dead! All right, Iris could be the answer to everything. Help her, help her! Come on, she's coming with us! No! You're not taking her! Look, you want the orderlies to shock her? She stays here. You want her to be safe outside? She comes with us. It's up to you. The bug's crawling up the wall. I can't get anyone to spray them. And not gonna try to squash them again. All the blind people put the restraints on me. <laughs> can't believe they put them on me. Just because they can't see the bugs? Mice can slip under doors, cracks. It's all just concentration, discipline. I have time to practice. I've, uh, I've had a long career working as a state inspector for the Department of Mental Health. During that time, I've been to a lot of institutions, and I have seen a lot of horrible things. But um, nothing even comes close to the evil events that I witnessed at Fairhaven Sanitarium, the place they now call Lux Eterna. I first arrived in um, 1926 to investigate claims of overcrowding and neglect. However, Fairhaven's reputation was tainted long before that. In 1911, Fairhaven opened its doors for the first time. A notoriously violent criminal by the name of Jack Yates was the hospital's first patient. He was to be the, uh, the, the shining example of the hospital's ability to cure the mentally deranged. However, when the superintendent's family was visiting one day, Yates broke free from his restraints and he, uh, he killed the man's wife. Since then, no one knows what happened to Yates or the superintendent. Well, that is, until now. Superintendent Wallace Halstead greeted me at the door. He seemed as empty and unkempt as the patients he lorded over. And uh, as I conducted my evaluation, I couldn't help but notice how nervous he got when I passed by a small broom closet. And naturally, I 
felt it necessary to find out why. When I opened the door, I was hit by the overpowering smell of human excrement. As the light flickered on overhead, I, I was horrified at what I saw. A withering man lay shackled to the floor in a pile of his own filth. Years of sunless existence had turned his skin, hair, and eyes milky white. He'd been chained there for so long that his, his skin had grown over the shackles. Um, it took me a moment to realize that the husk of a man was Jack Yates. The police arrived and Dr. Halstead was carted off. Doctors moved Yates from the small room for the first time in 15 years. The floor beneath him was permanently stained with the shape of his silhouette. They, they tried to remove the shackles from under his skin, but the shock of it all was too much for him. He, uh, he died the next day. I watched as they walled up his tiny prison, trying to pretend that it never happened. I honestly hope he's in a better place. Although the staff still claims to hear his agonizing wails coming from inside the walls. I think we're kind of obvious. Nobody knows. I mean, we're just talking here, right? There's more to it than that. You think we're invisible, but people can see things. Only if they're looking in your apartment window while we're, uh, you know. Shh, keep your voice down. You're gonna make me blush. Wish you weren't so clueless at work. I don't think I can wait till we get off work. Over here, in those shadows there. Coast is clear. Why do my worst nightmares keep getting way worse? Okay, let's figure this out. I thought I would never see this again. All right. So what do you know about this contract? Nothing. I... Oh, come on. It doesn't make sense. So he just asked you if you knew about a contract? He didn't ask. He wanted us to admit to it. Admit to having a contract with... Demons. Demons? We did nothing to him. He had no reason to go after us the way he did. The way he did? He drowns one girl and burns another? And where have I seen that stake before? That's it. All right, look, look. Get Iris to the church. Make sure that she's safe. I'll catch up with you later. Go. Okay. Come on, Iris. All right. Now, what the hell does a museum gala have to do with Rose's murder?
Fitting for an investigation about a serial killer. All these murders have whipped this town into a frenzy. Now it all leads here to a gala celebrating a time when Salem found itself swept up in another whirlwind of hysteria. So sorry, tomorrow tickets will go on sale to the general public. Tonight is a special members only event. What's so special in there tonight? Maybe there's a way to talk her into it. I couldn't get out. The fire was merciless. Gather round and bear witness to the righteous proceedings of a trial of a, a, a most heinous nature. Now you, good woman Putnam, you stand accused of the murder of seven of your own children, whom you claim were taken by forces of the this devil. This freak show better give me some answers. I did not do it. My devil spawn of a child is my own accuser. Fester bearing the spawn of the devil? I did only mean it as a term of anger, that my own daughter would thus accuse me in my grief. And young Ruth Putnam, your own daughter, has testified to this court that you did take from her a puppet. And she began to have pains of the belly and bled most woefully from her nether parts for five days. Was or was not the puppet used to inflict this suffering? It was not. I have engaged in no witchcraft. Yet she did find the puppet, folded in half at the belly, thus proving her demonic curse upon her. Mary Warren is a witness to the same, as the girls played with it in the bedchamber. The puppet was folded in half. It proves nothing. Goody Putnam, do you confess your guilt at inflicting harm of a demonic nature upon your only surviving daughter? I do not confess it. And do you confess to the demonic contract that took the lives of her other seven children? I neither confess that. Confess now, good woman Putnam. Confess and ease your soul of your most foul crimes. I would dangle from up on high, then confess to crimes for which I am innocent. There were children accusing their own parents? Yeah, I mean, if it's here, I guess it's true. I can't imagine what it would be like to have my own child turn on me. It blows my mind that this really happened. Not just in a play, but in the lives of real people. Yeah. Seems like just about anything can get you accused of witchcraft. Maybe make my voice deeper. This play is hilarious, but nobody gets it. Everything was harsher then. Huh. People really died because of these. Whoa. People really died here. I know it's not as bad as some of the things that... ...here, but... Wouldn't it be awful? Being locked up in one of these things all day? I mean, just the physical discomfort. Exactly. What if you had an itch? Shit, people constantly mocking you? I don't think I could take it. Would it be all day? Could they drink water? Seriously, what if you had to pee while you were in the pillory? Get preserved that long. 
The time is upon us, Abigail Williams! No! You scourge of Salem, it is time to pay for your sin! Gruesome. I'm into this. I remember a bright flash, and then nothing. So it wasn't really a form of execution. Right. But someone still got killed by this. Yep. So... What's the point of this? They were trying to get people to talk. They talk? How could they, they talk with those heavy stones on their chests? <sighs> Doesn't make sense to me either. and not being able to breathe. It's not like they had cranes back then. Confess, witch. Confess. Or covenant. A demonic contract with the dark forces. So it wasn't just witchcraft. How long could I hold my breath? This would freak me out so much. Does the wood get preserved that long? Long enough to be mighty uncomfortable, I suppose. Plus, everyone was staring while it happened. Yeah. Talk about public humiliation. It must have been like the pillory, but also nearly drowning. There's no such thing as the good old days. <sighs> so cold. The train was so loaded down with ammunition, like we were a rolling bomb. killer used torture devices like this to kill his victims. Why kill them like witches? I'm surprised there's no exhibit for the accusers. It's such an important part of Salem's history. Actually, several artifacts aren't on display yet. We're currently preparing them upstairs in the restoration room. 
better see what else is in here. People think this is easy. Pretty sure it was police lights. Stay polite. What made us derail that day? I always wonder. Did you see all those police lights? I don't know. We came straight from a dinner in Boston. Um, maybe Jim knows. So, I'm sitting there Jim, watching the Jim, did you hear anything about a crime or something? What? A crime? No. I didn't hear anything. Oh, yeah. I was by that old rundown apartment building. I don't know. I guess some drug thing got busted or something. I never liked that street anyway. Sheila was just saying there were police lights flashing and a street blocked off. This witch stuff would never happen now. <laughs> Should have brought a little radio. What's happening outside? Police aren't even safe.
exhibit about death. Joy? I told you to look after Iris. You're not the boss of me. I found a bunch of stuff downstairs. The Bell Killer is offing his victims as if they're witches. I'm heading upstairs to see what else I can find. I should have told you to follow me, and then maybe you would have stayed at the church. You know me so well. Keep an eye out for security cameras and alarms. Thanks for the tip, but this isn't even my first break in today. Yeah, this looks like the right place. Now let's see what these artifacts can tell me about the witch trials. It will always belong to you. For oh, shame, Bridget. This shroud of your conversations with the spirit world will surely condemn you as a witch.
I need you to lift up this painting. It's called The Hanged Witch. It's creepy. Oh. It's the killer symbol. because he thinks they're witches? That's insane. Who do I know that's interested in mediums? Baxter. And why the hell is Baxter involved in this? He dropped the case when he was demoted. All right, found the killer symbol. We got a suspect to look into. We're almost there. And not one step closer to finding my mom. Like I said, the world doesn't need another whiner. You know what? Screw you. You don't understand. Don't understand? My wife was murdered three years ago. She got to float up into the white light, and I got stuck here in this place with some bitchy teen. Ugh. Your mom's been missing what? Two, three days? Huh? And I guarantee you we'll find her. If I fail, if we fail, I'll never get to see Julia again. Ever. We won't fail. I don't need a cheerleader. Look, I'm sorry I didn't know about your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. We need to act on the information we found. You head off to the church. The church? Where are you going? Baxter's our prime suspect. I need to get over to his apartment and see if I can dig up any skeletons. Probably not a good idea for a fugitive to visit a cop. Fine, I'll meet you later. focus on this killer, but the echoes from these sensations keep interfering, like deaths from the past, pleading to be remembered.
husband and I stepped off the platform and onto the giant hissing locomotive. I remember looking back at our small town and thinking of all the happy memories we made there. But I was excited to start our new life in Salem. I, I must have dozed off because I was startled awake by the sound of screeching metal. And as the train came to a halt, all I could hear was the torrential rain pelting against the roof. I looked out the window. There was only darkness. Then came the brightest flash of lightning I had ever seen. When my husband left to inquire about the delay, a woman in the back of the train started screaming. We rushed over to her and, and asked her what was wrong, but all she could manage to say through her sobs was something about seeing the spirits of the dead wandering in the rain. Stranger still were the passengers that were suddenly stricken with the painful memories of their past. It was at this point that I became truly terrified, so I set out to find Joe. When I reached the cab and still hadn't found him, I was worried. I looked out the front window and saw the train's conductor laboring to move a downed tree from the tracks. And there was Joe walking up to help. However, instead of grabbing hold of the tree, Joe bent down, picked up a rock, and crushed the conductor's skull with it. When I left the train and ran up to him, I could see that this wasn't the Joe I once knew. Something had taken hold of him, something angry. Then he saw something that terrified him. He dropped the rock and ran off into the woods. However, right before he disappeared into the trees, during a bright flash of lightning, I, I thought I saw something chasing him, hunting him. I can only describe it as a ghostly spectre, cloaked in black. Mm. But more likely than not, it was just a shadow. The authorities spent days combing the woods for Joe, but he never turned up. I tried to go back home, but the memories were too painful. Some nights I lie in bed, tortured by the thoughts of what our life could have been if we had never stepped onto that train. I just got a text. Did you hear something else happen just now? Something bad. Someone told me about a murder. No, like this just... I have a bad feeling about tonight. This whole place is bad news. I can't stop thinking about the dead cop. So it wasn't really a form of execution. Did you see all those police? What that guy just said? Something horrible just happened at St. Benedict's. The church? What is going on in this town tonight? Oh, man. It must be true. I think I hear sirens. What a weird night. Not that into this. Where are you headed? Oh, 
Probably hear you talk. Oh, boys, place your bets and hope you're lucky. Sorry, track record. Well, as always. Now, in a shocking turn, a police detective. Cops and criminals get used to red and blue flashing lights. Even after you get numb to them, sometimes they still chill your bones. You can get that feeling that this time, they mean something personal.
God you're okay. No, no, Joy, Joy, don't! Damn it. Lieutenant, caught her sneaking up the side staircase. Says she's a friend of the priest. Where's Walter McCauley? Is he all right? Just put her in my car. I want to interview her myself. Did somebody remind Broyles that the door's not going to watch itself? Yes, sir. It's a simple question, please! Take it easy on her. Hey, anybody find Baxter yet? Nope. Into the station, drove by his place, nothing. You know, there's definitely something wrong here. I mean, honestly, have you ever seen anything like this? Huh. Half this stuff feels like a goddamn riddle. I don't know. I just seem so demented. Demented? I gotta find this crime scene before they cart away all the evidence.
stayed at the hospital, she'd still be alive. Don't hold too tight to what's keeping you here. Just remember, this wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. What else did he do here? Work of a real monster. How can one guy do this? Steps hold trembling feet. Nothing sacred to this guy. running away. That's who he's after. Not the rest of us. We have cocktails already. Okay, all right, everyone, let's get this picture. We've got to get to the reception now. Everybody get it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a little... Let me go! Down, Let me down. go! He's... he's here! Look, you need to back off. He was after Iris. I wonder if there's more evidence in Joy's room.
about you. Why was the killer here? Trying to protect Iris. I'm sure, that won't make it sting any less for joy. Damn it. I don't think she's the most ideal roommate. A little rough around the edges, but I'm sure you'll like the room, and in time you'll both get along really well. Don't worry. I can get along with most anyone. Excellent. Well, this is the room. Here we are. Father? What's wrong? Go! Go! <laughs> Looking for joy, but took out Iris instead. This is a friggin' dead end. So where's Baxter? If he's not here, he's got some explaining to do. Well, what about you? You see anything? Hmm? It's your old buddy Ronan. What the hell was that? The killer dropped something in the vent. Maybe the cat can help get to it. Thanks for the help. Hideout. I need to get to Judgment House. Thank <laughs> you. 
ghost thing and get me out of this. Come on. Trust me. You're better off this way. The killer was right. after you. Oh. What happened in there? He didn't suffer. You're lying. He died protecting innocent people. That's all you need to know. He died because of me. Hey. You know, pleading insanity isn't going to help you much on two counts of trespassing and felony escape. So you can drop the crazy act, all right? Rex, man, give her a break. You have anything to say for yourself? No? That's what I thought. We'll figure out what to do with you at the station. Why does this keep happening to Joy, me? Joy, tell him what we found. They need to know it all. You gotta find a way to convince him. Where are you going? Killer left a clue about the ancient mansion we saw at the museum. Tell Rex about that too. It's probably the killer's place. Okay, I'll try. I always heard this place was such an interesting museum back in its heyday. Now it's just a place propped up by rusty nails and rumors. A place you wouldn't dare your worst enemy to go into. Alright, there it is, Judgment House. Huh. This abandoned place isn't so abandoned after all. I hate it when I'm right.
fresh paint. This one's just been done. The witch who flew from her own mother, herself a witch, herself in flight. She'll meet her death like so many other and leave both realms this very night. Oh no, that's about joy. This looks like the Bell Killer's war room. I should check this all out. Copycats? A conspiracy? What else did you hide in this house, you freak? What was that? Violence tries to take over the new. I have to tell Officer Baxter about this. This could be a vital piece.
Oh my god, Baxter? I should have been the one that stopped you. Ronan? What the hell is going on? You sick bastard. Why'd you do it? Why'd you bring back the witch trials and kill all those innocent girls? You think I'm the bell killer? Are you, are you insane? I've never killed anyone. You gotta help me. What is this place? We gotta get out of here. Oh, we gotta get out of here. All of a sudden, we're buds. Uh, uh, uh. You need to tell me what's going on here. So, who killed you? The bell killer, you idiot. But I didn't get a good look at his face. Where's the killer? No idea. He could be anywhere, but when we fought, he said something I didn't understand at all. Wait, 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 wait. The killer actually talked? Not much, but I think I hit a nerve. I told that bastard he'd be dead soon, but he said, I already know death. And then something about his instrument of death will kill again tonight. My instrument of death? But he kills different ways every time. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. We gotta figure out what that means. What were you doing here? Following a lead. I never dropped the case. Had this psychic, Cassandra, working with me. And we figured out the bell killer is hunting mediums. Like a witch trial execution copycat. At that point we couldn't let it go. Even after Rex demoted me. So that's why you're at the museum. Do you know where Cassandra is? Is she still alive? Last I checked, yeah. I took her to a safe house outside of town. Oh my god, she's alive. I was sure she'd be dead too. Joy would be freaking ecstatic. She shouldn't end up alone. Sandra ever bring up her daughter? Wouldn't shut up about her. We looked for Joy for days, but it was too risky. Cassandra has been begging me to track Joy down, but I haven't found her yet. You're not gonna believe this. Joy's been helping me tonight. <laughs> Figures a cop like you would need help to get this far. Uh, you mean like what, the help you got from her mom? All right, you get back to Cassandra. Make sure she's still safe and bring her back to the station. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna quickly check out the cellar and come up with a plan. I hope. Salem wasn't the most exciting place for a couple of rambunctious 13-year-olds. I mean, playing with my friends after school, they usually required a healthy dose of imagination to spice up the underwhelmingly bleak landscape. To us, Salem's history was just a bunch of creepy stories and tourist attractions. I mean, witches didn't exist, we, we all knew that. That's why Robbie Barnes was the laughingstock of the entire school. I mean, he, he actually believed that they were real. Looking back, I, I wish I hadn't teased him so much. Maybe then he'd still be alive. I've, I forget which one of my friends actually came up with a plan to prank Robbie, but it didn't take him long to get us all on board. My job was to find an example of an old spell. I mean, it took me all of 15 minutes. And the library had practically every book ever written on the subject. The next step um, involved the, the Judgment House. It sat up on the hill, abandoned. Everyone said it was haunted. 
What made it even creepier were the rumors that Judge Hawthorne burned the remains of accused witches in the house's various fireplaces. And that's, that's where Robbie comes in. We dared him to sneak into the judgment house in the middle of the night and collect a handful of ashes from each of the fireplaces. Then he'd have to light some candles, sprinkle the ashes, and read the spell. We told him that if done correctly, the spell would supposedly blow out all the candles. If he agreed to do all this and the candles so much as, as flickered, we would promise to stop making fun of him. We could, we could see that he was scared, but to his credit, he agreed to go through with it. What we didn't tell him was that we had set up a hidden camera to catch all the hilarity on tape. The next day, Robbie didn't come into school. We, we assumed he had chickened out and was too embarrassed to face the music. Then I heard that Robbie went missing. I felt the chill run down my spine as I retrieved the tape from our hidden camera. I pressed play and fast forward until I saw Robbie. He was doing just as we instructed him to. But then, a shadowy figure crossed in front of the camera. Robbie turned in horror just as the camera cut to static. When the image finally returned, Robbie was gone. And the only sign that anything had happened at all was the now smoldering fireplace over in the corner. But you know your guilt, and cannot deny your punishment is due. You claim righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. I thought you stood for justice. How is this just? The courts are not a place for your murderous whimsy. You are a corrupt heathen. The families of those innocent souls you executed through false accusation of witchcraft will exact their righteous justice tonight. False accusation? What is that nonsense you draw? My mark will burn like a brand in the flesh of this town. If it takes me to the ends of eternity, I will personally make the bell toll for every witch in Salem. Why? The guy who killed me is... Abigail. She might be the bell killer. How is that possible? I gotta get out of here and figure out how to track her down. Oh shit, if Rex is missing, 
It could be going down right now. Where'd you take Joy, you asshole? Yeah. Instrument of death, meaning her death. Where she was killed. The gallows at the museum. Hang on, kid. I'm on my way. deserves to be murdered. And when the psycho trying to kill someone pretends there's some grand justice behind it, that just makes it all the more twisted. Another step. No, not you, Rex. This has nothing to do with her, Abigail. Oh, but it does. For 300 years, we have executed the witches who corrupt our fair city. Down there, let's go. Those who try to mask their demonic contract and leverage powers they should never possess. Just like you have. Don't you dare compare me to her! <laughs> easy, easy. Put your hands up! Help! Don't do anything stupid. Hands up. Stop what you're doing. Hands up. Do it now. <laughs> Abigail, stop! <laughs> This was 
you. I want you getting closer to the truth. Ronan, do something! Hold tight, kid. I'm on my way. Upon us, Abigail Williams. No. You scourge of Salem. It is time to pay for your sins. This can't be happening. You want to use memories against me? Two can play at that game. truth about your death, but I still don't know the truth about mine. <laughs> Did you use Rex to kill me? Rex was my most influential. The most respected, the most feared official in town. Of course I did. Rex have done it. Rose's killer had blue eyes. I didn't use the same killer for every murder. Baxter. Why did you kill Baxter? I eventually kill all the killers I use. the ones who get close to the truth. I wasn't close to the truth in the apartment. I wasn't one of your killers. Why did I have to die? How could I? You made me kill her. If I'm going out, you're coming with me. We 
we all got a dark side, sometimes obvious, sometimes not. If we're lucky, we keep our dark side hidden. By law, Rex was a killer. But the law doesn't always see the truth. Fortunately, Joy did. And she would never press charges. <laughs> she might even help Rex cover his tracks. One thing's for certain. She's a better person than I was at that age. A kid who deserves forgiveness. She's paid her dues. And committing a few small crimes searching for your mom? Well, even the coldest cops would forgive those. Mom! Hasn't been a bell killer murder since the night Abigail met her final end. But the case never officially closed. But memories fade, time heals. With luck, Salem will move on and find peace. Death repays debts, my father always said. Forever I believe that. But truth be told, this life ain't over until you're honest about what you owe. Set everything right. Settle your debts. Only then can you move on. Ronan?